Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Jess. And I'm Erica, and this is Girls Gone Wrong. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. No. (laughs) Okay, so. (laughs) uh, Guys, we're going to dive right in since we fucked it up last week and our squirrel brains got the best of us and we just, you know, missed a little. Missed missed a little recording. Um, No big deal. And the reason why we're di- like the- why we're going to talk about this topic is because it came up a couple times in conversations, and we have discussed this in the past, but very like in passing, I guess. Um, but do, do you want to start this one? You sort of brought oh, up you. the story about you know one time, like that one time. So I'll tell you my story after. Okay, so. We're talking about sex, obviously. Obvi. Obvi. Um, why would we not? So this one time, I had sex with this guy, and he was fucking hot, right? So already, like hot, I'm hot? thinking like, like hot, hot, like okay, like, like hot, hot. Yeah. Uh, so hot that you probably wouldn't even have to do anything to get me in the mood. Hot okay okay so he's that hot um and he fucking sucked dude <laughs> like oh. i was so sad that's like, a bummer i was so bummed out that i was disgusted with myself as oh. in i was why did i even waste my time right he's like yeah. oh did you did you come and you're like to the My- wrong fucking house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If, first of all, if you have to ask, the answer is no. <laughs> Bitch, if my legs aren't shaking, you didn't do a good job. Okay. <laughs> come again. You Literally, know- come again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when they, when guys go down on you and they like look up at you, like, looking for approval like am i doing a good job don't, don't fucking look at me get <laughs> shut up there. and lick <laughs> can you hear me laugh sort of a little bit not really <laughs> oh my god oh god i got a new microphone it's not working obviously uh, um okay so okay let me get this straight he's smoke show hot oh so hot but just didn't know what to do what is he good so, kiss? What is he a good kisser at least? God no. Listen. It was so like okay. either my pussy is that good. Right? Or I'm that hot or you you're are. a fucking virgin or you're a virgin. I'm going to go with I'm not sure what I want to go with cuz I feel like God, it just was so infuriating. A, a, B, or C. Was I would say A or B. I would say A and B because I want to give him Duh. the benefit of the doubt that, you know, but two oh, pump chump. Two pump chump for sure. Bummer, dude. Sorry yeah, about that. A, this was a while ago. Well, sorry it happened to you. You know, we're on video, right? <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> yeah. Stop doing that with your face. <laughs> um, The kissing was awful. Like, have was you ever spitty? kissed was someone? Was it too tonguey? It was too tonguey. You know when you kiss someone and they shove their tongue in your mouth and it's like fucking relax that thing, right? It's yeah. like, Ugh. oh, did you know I could do this? Uh, I just saw that and I was going to mention it, but now you already beat me to the punch. I cannot. I could also do this. This is how talented I am with my tongue. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, anyway, so that's a totally different thing. But you know when someone kissed, like when you are kissing someone and they shove their tongue in, and I mean the your tongue muscle is so tight, you're like, dude, I just want a sloppy kiss. Like, stop trying to stab me with your tongue. Yeah, for sure. I love it's... a good kisser, dude. Oh god, a good kisser. So bad kissing, just don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. You know, don't the... even invite me over. Don't even fucking look at me. <laughs> 
So this is my thing. This is my take on some of it. It's like, I did some pretty hot guys before too, like hot, hot. And there's this one yeah. guy in particular that is was like smoke show hot back in the day I dated him. And he, yeah. dude, I'm talking big boy, big boy. But he did not know what to do. He did not know how to fuck. And I'll tell you, and I think it's like, you know, you're learning what you like as you get older and you're learning, you know, yeah. the motions and all that stuff. So I get it. But like, I think sometimes, not all the time, guys who are like super, like super smoke show hot, I just don't yeah. think they care to learn because girls want them anyway. But it's a letdown once yeah. you get them. Ah, oh, I was... I like what a bummer, right? I was I was just so sad. I was I was like, I wasted a number on this. I wasted like, a number. I wasted gas. Wait, <laughs> did you drive over there? Yeah. Oh shit. Well you did. <laughs> I was like, oh, I wasted gas. I wasted time. I wasted so much. And now I thought you were like this amazing person. Because I put you on a pedestal. But when you see nothing. it, yeah, when you see it and like when you like live it firsthand, you're like, wow, that was fucking lame. Like, yeah, not coming and over honestly, here again. <laughs> literally, <laughs> I'm the first time. <laughs> um, but I think that's how guys feel when they have sex. What do you mean? It has to be like. You know how guys could just fuck bitches yeah. and ghost them. I am not the type of person that could fuck someone and like ghost you. I can't. Like I usually have some kind of connection with that person before yeah, no, I have sex with them. You're in love. <laughs> you're in love, right? Now. I'm always <laughs> I love love. Like I'm in love. I'm in love all the wait, time. Wait, you were nice to me. I'm in love. <laughs> You remember my name in love. Oh my God. You want to take me on a date in fucking love, 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 love. love. Did you Snapchat me in love? (laughs) Did you ask me for my phone number in love? You think my dogs are cute? They need a daddy. (laughs) They need a daddy too. Okay. Okay. We're oh God. Anyway. Yeah. um, Off the rails here. We got off the rails. Um. I need to have some kind of connection with someone. Like I need to yeah. feel a certain way and I have to have some kind of connection. I did not have a connection with this person. It was just like, you're hot. I'm going to see how this goes. Right. And I literally felt nothing in my brain. I remember thinking, wow, the last person I had sex with was so much better. Yeah. And he sucks. wouldn't do it this way. And oh. you're like, oh, I shouldn't be thinking that way. But I'd imagine guys who don't get emotionally invested in women that's how it feels it was literally just a transaction gone it's never yeah. going to happen again i would really like to get some male input on this topic or yeah. uh you know one of my buddies asked me he texted me today and asked if he could be on um our podcast of course and i said yeah what does he like, want to talk about uh, well i asked him that too i said we have an ongoing list but he is definitely down to jump in on there um, beautiful person. I adore him. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I think some guys just don't, some guys are weird, like not weird. I didn't mean it like that. I, I think it is yeah. weird, but some guys like really want to know what to do and like really want to know how to please a woman. And other guys are like, Oh, I'm hot. I have money. I blah, blah, blah. Like yeah. I could get anybody. Ew, gross. Like, and that's what I told you. Like, you know, the minute it happens and you don't want it, it just, you're just like, ew. Ugh. Yeah. Ew, go I, away. Like, I, I was not obsessed with this person, but I was like, this dude is hot. Like, he's my type. For sure. 
this is going to be a great time. And maybe it will be a little, like, maybe it will be frequent or something like that. But it, I, you were just like, no, I was like, oof. can we just stop now? And I'll go home and like, take care of myself, obviously, because I could do it better, you know, but I will say this, there is something about a guy. There's something about a guy when they ask you what you like, because I find it very attractive when someone's very open and honest and says, this is what I like. We've had this discussion. I'm a people pleaser. I get off on pleasing people. So, yeah. So if you are a guy that I'm having sex with and you tell me what you like, and I'm not saying like, I'm not saying you come at me and are like, oh, I'm going to fuck you this way. Or this is (laughs) like, if you just have this conversation was like, hey, this is what I like. I'm like on it. Right. I will do that. Absolutely. I get that. You're a giver, baby. I love it. Yeah. But also, I also like, go ahead. Uh, you know that guy who, um, is his name Sterling? He's fucking hot. That he used to be um, a porn, like he was in the porn industry. Is oh, I think it is. Here. Yes, I know oh, exactly my. what you're talking about. First of all, he is handsome and i think he's only handsome because the way he talks about sex like i am drawn in oh his and voice, i was though. watching oh, the voice oh don't he's even get me started like, daddy and... yeah daddy's voice gets me mm-hmm. i tell him i used to tell him because yeah. daddy's no longer my daddy but um daddy spots open uh i used to tell him the roster it's your is voice. open my friends it's your voice. Your voice gets me. And also, like, when you're in person, like, just the way he, like, carries himself and, like, oh. Yeah. Um, But that Sterling guy yep. said probably one of the most attractive things that I've ever heard. And I think guys should seriously adopt Listen this to him. into yeah. their game. Because what he said was, you should never ask a girl if she likes if she likes it or how she likes it, you should ask her four things, harder, softer, faster, slower. Okay. Deceased. If a guy said that to me, I would be like, okay. But also if they're rubbing, you know, your inner fucking thigh versus your clit, like (laughs) you sort of have to point them in the right direction because let's be honest. Yeah. We've all been there with a man who thinks they're doing a good job. And it, the one, your your lady is just, like, the one side of your lady is just getting swollen because it's, like, it's just, it's, it's irritating. <laughs> and they're, like, yeah, you like that? You like that? No, I'm, like, I sure. Don't. I'm, like, oh, yeah, love it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you. My inner thigh <laughs> loves the massage. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so like, sore there. Really, really good. <laughs> I feel like guys should have to pass an anatomy test. Like, if you don't know where my clit is. Okay. Listen, I agree with that. And there was one day where I think just me and some friends were, like, fucking around. And we just started texting, like, random guys. Like, and this was a while ago. It's like, how many holes do women have? Like, <laughs> And so many of them got it wrong. <laughs> You're like, no. What yeah. was the average answer? What did they say? God, God, God. I'm so upset right now. Tell you know me. what they said. One. Well, two. Two, two, two. Yeah. They all would probably say two butthole and vagina. Yeah. Well, boys, now's the time. It's never too late to learn anatomy. Never. I will literally spread my legs and lips to show you. <laughs> oh, you viewer. <laughs> Erica. All in, all in the name of science, of course. <laughs> all in the name of science. We love it. <laughs> but, like, I'm disgusting. <laughs> but you know what? Here's another thing about that, too. Like, that, it, and it's ironic because it was the same man that, like didn't know how to use it way back when um he used to like he straight up one time asked me to like take a shower so he can go down on me and I'm like and then he's like oh you know 
did you shave did you shave i'm like what the fuck first of all grow up like your dick is scentless get out of here yeah but b did i say a or anyway one two a b it's all the same i'm invested i'm invested we're invested but like did i shave first of all that is my choice doesn't matter if i want to have a bush i'm gonna have a fucking bush if i want to be bald as a baby i'll be bald as a babe like i'm a grown-ass woman i can do what i want to do with it and there should be no complaints there shouldn't be any oh well you know you're a little hairy or you're a little like get the fuck out of here go back and suck on your mom's tit then you fucking baby the only thing you should be worrying about is if it's wet or not okay Ex- exactly right? is if it's wet or not yes i agree but Whatever. like could you imagine that could you imagine that like i cannot believe that boys have the audacity to ask that yeah or and think yeah. like first of all are you manscaping are you doing any of that like yeah no you're right it's a two-way street but also we have hair for reasons some people don't like it that's cool I'm all for everything if you want to have a bush do it if you don't do that too I don't give a shit what you do me either I don't either I just cannot believe that men have the audacity like now okay so what do you think about it though do you if you don't mind me asking, what what is what is your preference? Oh man! So I feel like, like you mean on me or on a guy? Both. All right, on me, on me, I prefer to have I prefer to have nothing. Um, okay. I don't know because I hate like Are you, I hate you wearing full bald it. Oh yeah. Okay, but okay. I think maybe. I think maybe I'll get like a landing strip or something yeah. next time because I'm I'm letting it grow out right now. Not a lot, but enough to get something. Yeah. I was actually supposed to go get wax today, but my girl had to cancel. So I have to reschedule. But anyway, that's a different thing. Um, Honestly, either way, it doesn't bother me. I think the only time it bothers me per se is in the summer when I have a bathing suit on. Like I don't want my bush hanging out, you know? Okay. First of all, okay this reminds that's me that's my it. personal that's right. my personal preference for me I get it I get it absolutely um but I was just at the lake with um my mom and Kim this weekend when my mom came down or last yeah. weekend whatever it was we're at the lake and I'm like you know I it's been a minute since I got waxed too and I was like you know how <laughs> you know you're old is when your pubic hair starts growing on your fucking thighs and like on your, I'm like what the fuck like when did this happen to me like I look down and I'm like what is going on I God. what like when when how yeah it just what? it's fucking wild it just happens it's, it's so just, crazy it, it stops growing just in the v and it grows out onto your thighs <laughs> you're like <laughs> And I'm like, what? I'm. A, I was mortified. I'm like, this sucks. Oh my god! Like, but yeah, I agree with and- that. So I love to like do. I, I love to get waxed. I usually do a little, um, little patch, if you will. Um, you know, just to. I'm dating an old man. He might be a little blind, so I just gotta point him in the right direction. <laughs> I'm getting an arrow. Like I don't even give a fuck. I'm like my <laughs> next design is arrow. <laughs> Lit here, like, <laughs> like don't fuck it up. Like literally, it's right here, right here. <laughs> just start drawing. <laughs> just, we get tattoos, maybe a little glow in the dark thing. Just put it on there. <laughs> It'll flash like a lightning bug. Like right here, uh, right here. <laughs> oh my god, here she is. Uh, but it's uh, it's tough though. Like, but I do. I anyway. I like to, I like to wax, but also you know. It's that like four, five, six week period where you're not getting yeah. waxed that like right now. Yeah, I'm at the fifth week. 
yeah i'm at the like she she had she she's 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 grown yeah <laughs> but you know what i mean she won't she won't scratch you but she'll keep no, you warm she's yeah she's a little little fussy right now yeah. <laughs> like but first of exactly. all we should have men who want to embrace that and be like, you know what? Yeah. I'm a wilderness explorer. I am a wilderness explorer and I am willing to explore the wilderness. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Man. Um, and if you're you know, not, I fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like leave it alone. I'll go home and take care of myself. It's not a big deal. Just right. Talk dirty to me and I'm fine. But I will say, Tell me. waxing is new because I just started getting waxed this year. You're right. You remember? did. Remember for Mexico. Yeah. I was like, I'm like, I'm wearing a, I'm letting my butt hang out. So now yeah. I let my butt hang out everywhere because I don't give a fuck. I know. Like, I love it. My butt is always out. So butts. butts. So I like to get waxed because I'm wearing skimpy bottom bathing suits. Right. right. I agree. I agree, you know. and I like that. Yeah, for sure. And now, now that I do it, I love it. But what did I, I tell you? I love too? being waxed. I know, I love it too. It's just such a good, clean, fresh feeling. But what did I yes. tell you was the easiest part about getting waxed? Oh, your butthole. I know. It was <laughs> so I felt not. I was like, what just happened? Easy, piece. right? There's a fly in. Here. And it's when here. I was getting waxed, this guy that I think is very attractive was messaging me the first time I was getting waxed remember and I messaged I you remember this yes and I remember my wax girl handed me my phone and she's like do you want your phone while you're doing this and I was like sure did not know the attractive guy was messaging me and like she's touching me and I'm like god stop <laughs> and she's like it's fine she's like I had to just do a guy so she like she waxes guys too so she's talking yeah. about that and I was like that is wild I mean is it though like some I mean I'm like glad to be cleaned up too well well no I think that it's great when guys do it like because when I'm going down on a guy like it's nice to not have like pubes everywhere For so sure. I don't I think manscaping is amazing I think it's I think... great I like when guys do it if you don't it's whatever Fine too yeah but also if you don't if you don't, you can't come at me do and be not. like, why don't you? Yes, exactly. Like, don't. Don't this, do that to me. No. This isn't mm. a one-way street, bud. But my wax girl, yeah, my wax girl's just saying, like, you know, with guys, when you do it, like, they obviously get hard. They just do. So she was telling me about the one time, like, really came on her arm. Yeah. She's like, he, like, came on my arm. And I was like, Dude, what did you do? And she's like, I kept my cool. I was like, oh, what would I do? short circuit (laughs) what the fuck well i mean it's sensitive i guess and i i mean well i guess some guys are like into that too yeah like not to say like women aren't into pain or anything like that so yeah that makes sense yeah oh i'm a bdsm for sure yeah but like i feel like girls when you get waxed like she's not sticking her fingers up your vagina like you know what i mean like our shit's on the inside Dude, for the most part. I'm telling you though, the fucking oh, the top and the fucking sides when she <laughs> rips that off, I'm like, I'm like sometimes <laughs> sweating. Oh God, and I'm so pale. I'm so pale. Yeah. So everything, like when I'm done, I'm so red because and like she's yeah. like, Dude, you're so pale. I'm like, I know. I have not a melanocyte in my body. I know it's I might as well like it's so bad dude but I I mean it it doesn't hurt I don't think it hurts that bad but I mean it's like one of those things where it's over and you know a second like once it happens you're like it's done it you know you're you're not sitting there in pain but I do like that I do like the freshness the feeling the good feels but like I'm telling you anyone who's never gotten waxed your butthole is the least painful part it really is I was so scared of that I was telling Erica this yeah before we went to Mexico I was like dude get waxed like it's good I'm telling you this is the least painful part and it is like get on all fours or like knees to chest baby (laughs) like 
<laughs> mine doesn't mine doesn't make me go knees to chest i literally just roll over she's like your ass is big enough like <laughs> oh yeah so you know i've been the girl that i got waxed by in denver i really loved her um i always went to see her but uh since i came out here i started getting obviously started getting waxed by a new person so yeah taylor who i used to get waxed by um i was always a uh, turn on all fours sort of girl but now wow. this one is knees to chest and I'm like, my puss is right in your face while you're doing this. Like <laughs> asshole, like just right there. Like getting a doggy. Oh, my favorite. Well, no, that was with Taylor. Now it's like, <laughs> no, no, it's, now I'm on the thing like this. <laughs> now I'm on the table, like still laying on yes. my back. <laughs> yeah. Wow. See, Mayan is like, I lay flat frog legged oh right? yeah I'm frog legged sure. absolutely right? gets the front gets everything there and then she's like all right turn over turn over and I'm just I literally like I'm laying like this yeah and my butt's just in the air and she's like done in a second and she's like yep. all right girl you're done she literally takes I think my wax takes maybe five minutes if that she's so fast yeah, I love that's a fantastic job see that's amazing I love a good waxer man Oh, she's amazing and it's so funny like every time I walk in she goes so what's the boy drama now and I'm like oh my god like she knows everything it radiates she's like, off of you I know she's like oh girl tell me more and I'm like okay here I come that's too funny yeah no you get but close with great. your waxers obviously they're, they're I mean, right you up have in your shit right? man yeah literally bring mine wine like I'd bring mine wine I'd bring mine just like hanging out love it the first time I got waxed by her I was like so my pussy look okay like I mean you see a lot of them like does it look good like I don't know I don't know and she like laughed she was hysterical I she's think... like yeah you got a good puss I was like Listen. all right girl I know you're lying to me you might be lying but I'm taking it to the grave. there are so many mm -hmm. so many yeah, just like there's so many yeah, you know, I think this goes into porn I feel okay. like that <laughs> okay. sterling guy yeah, that Sterling guy said porn is like pretty much like obviously like a lot of it's fake. Yeah, you know, like the scripted stuff. And he was saying how it like ruins women's self esteem, and I think that's probably true. Well, there are so Don't many you? different. Yeah, because like look at us. Like, does a normal everyday woman probably like bleach their asshole? No, no. Do like these bitches have? The, yeah, they're should, in porn. I'm... They have the money to like do vag yeah. rejuvenation and all the you know all the shit that they want to do yeah like I yeah. think it's different I think yeah and like they're even like if you watch porn like the way these girls some of them orgasm you're like girl get real like that's not real life come on and like some guys really think that's the way it should happen and it's not and did you know women can have 11 different orgasms 11 11 we can have 11 there's this girl that i love her name ironically is amanda king um she has her own like podcast and stuff. shout and she out teaches shout out to amanda king i love you baby <laughs> yeah uh that amanda king what up my, girl my um amanda king. <laughs> so she teaches guys like how to talk dirty to women because like women enjoy almost storytelling and more sensual whereas yes. guys are like oh, i'm gonna fuck you and you're like Ugh. okay you fucking neanderthal <laughs> like no <laughs> thank you <laughs> so she teaches like women how to redirect men in their way that they're speaking to you um for dirty talk and she also talks about like sex toys and things like that and yeah all the different types of orgasms I can't remember all of them but like the ones that I do know are the ones that like I know that I have so like there is nipple okay. so you can orgasm from nipple there's nipple orgasm clit your g-spot anal vaginal oral you can have an oral orgasm so from like your only I guess, giving head six. I know god damn it all right, well, well I wasn't go ahead her name's Amanda King her name's Amanda King um but yeah there's a bunch of other ones um 
So she talks about that. She kind of really helps guide guys and women on their sexuality. So yeah, there's 11. I only know, I only remember six of them. Yeah. Type in Amanda King. Okay. So wait, there's 10 different female orgasms. Oh yeah. The 11 types of orgasms exactly and exactly how to tick them off. Okay. We're not going to, okay. We'll just read it quick. Yeah. 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 Clitoral orgasm. G spots. Yes. Anal. Yes. Blended. Blended. Yeah, there's like blended combo, something weird. Pressure. I don't know those exactly though. Oh, yes. Squeeze me to death and I will ten Erica. Ten choke me. <laughs> Nipple. Yes. Orgasm. Yeah. Relaxation orgasm or sleep gasm. Fancy oh, yeah. orgasm. And multiple mm-hmm. orgasm. Yes, and there is also exercise orgasm that just recently has yeah. been talked about. Yeah, by us because it's you. <laughs> when I work out, sometimes I do. It's weird. I think it's like a pain thing. Probably. Uh, but no, I do. Yeah, no, I like. I like a man. I weirdly enough, I like a hairy man. Back to the whole thing of oh, hair versus no hair. Yeah, um, ooh, I've never been with a hairy man. I love like there was this guy I used to be with. Ironically, we talked about him a few times today, <laughs> but he, he was also very hairy. But he used to shave his belly and his chest. Because he thought girls mm-hmm. liked it like that. And I was like, yeah, girls do, not women. Like, I, like, give me that chest hair and the belly hair and oh, yeah. I'm into it. But, like, not, nobody says, okay. like, back hair or anything. Like, that's weird. Yeah. But, like, give me, like, a hairy man. Yes. I've never been with a hairy man, honestly. I, I'm currently not I've with never- a hairy man. <laughs> I think even like he is yeah he is, like, I think I'm hairier than he is <laughs> like, yeah I think I'm hairier than daddy my yeah. ex movie I should say you're probably hairier than daddy <laughs> um yeah I've never been with a hairy guy okay so here's another thing what are your thoughts like what type of guy are you into body wise like big boys muscular boys scrawny guys you know my dating history. I've been with it all. Yeah. I've been with I've, big boys. I've been with muscular men. I've been with super skinny men. <laughs> like, tall and tall lanky. Men. Yeah, super yeah. tall, tall and lanky. Um, I've never really dated too many short men. That's never but really you're been small. my small. Right. I literally I, only have dated guys who are my height maybe like two inches taller than me right but everyone's dated, been my height or shorter i've dated mostly men over six foot motherfucker like i <laughs> love the feeling i love the feeling when someone's bigger than me and they could just like engulf me because like i'm yeah. not tall and i have this argument with everyone about my height they're like you're not let's you're not that tall and i'm like fuck all of you you're like tall. i just went to the doctor i'm five seven okay leave me be um that is tall though it is but recently people have been telling me i'm shorter than five seven and i'm like there's no fucking way like people are actually arguing me arguing with me about this but whatever um i do like a bigger guy like now Mm -hmm. that i'm like starting to mingle with the guys i love like there's something about a guy who's just like bigger than me yeah big boys big and i'm not i mean i think all men are great uh i'm not I'm not. We don't discriminate. Any. No, I will date anyone. I will. Yeah, I won't go there. But I will say the most, one yeah. of the most recent guys that I've been having sex with. There's something about a big boy. A big boy. Um, you know what used to kill me when I would be on like Bumble or Hinge or Tinder before I got banned from Tinder twice. <laughs> Um, I would love saying like, 
hey short king to somebody who had the right of like like five six or something they're still they're still taller than you and you're calling them short king i cannot (laughs) i'd be like i i can use that (laughs) hey i can use that you know (laughs) yeah like i'm five foot (laughs) and then i'm there like yep i feel like an I feel like I'm a giant for a You're girl. Giant, you cut out there a little bit. Sorry, she's that's how I a feel. Giant. Yeah, I. Yeah, Eric, you I know feel what like Kansas, I'm a giant for a girl. You know what Kansas weather is like lately? It's probably so nice. It smells like you want to face in your pussy. Cheers. I'm drinking greens. It smells like day drinking, and I want to face in my puss. Me too. It's been a while. Ooh, I bet you would like this. Yeah. Yeah, it's Goose Island. Um, it's a lemonade shandy, obviously, like a lemon shandy, but yeah. like, it's pretty good. Is it? Yeah. Oh, or like hot day, it dude. It's like ninety million degrees out here in, in the Midwest. I like how I just said I don't drink. I haven't drank in a while, but literally, I just drank this weekend and. Like men in Texas were like feeding me drinks. They're like, yeah. hello, let me buy your dinner. Here's a drink. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, hi. See, Everything never, must be better like, in Texas. Guys don't like me. Nobody ever bought my dinner or bought my drinks. Well, they bought drinks for this me. Is, like, this is the first time. I was literally eating alone. I made friends at the yeah. pool. Dissed those friends. Like just ditched them. I was like, I don't know you guys. I, I can't hang out with you. So went to dinner myself sat there alone so I think that the people or the guy who was sending me drinks and bought me dinner probably felt bad for me I don't think it was because of any other reason but then after my tattoo I was filling my gas tank up and some guy walked up to me and was like hey I was like yeah oh god like I was nervous he was like this big tall guy and he was like I'm gonna buy your gas for you and I was like what you don't have to do that he bought my gas for me. So I I got like, and where I ate was very expensive restaurant. And literally, I think my bill was like $115 for just a meal and a drink. And he bought me dessert and sent me other drinks. Hmm. Well, you know what? Ladies, maybe it's the first time it's the first time it ever happened. Maybe it's time to get down to Texas. But just remember, if you want an abortion don't go there <laughs> like, yes don't go there if you want an abortion not not funny but also a little bit <laughs> like don't go to gilead um don't do it okay i'm loving this well we are running out of time yeah so i think this was a good squirrel brain <laughs> talk and yeah. Oh God. I'm so sorry, guys. We're all over the place. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. I'm not apologizing anymore. It's my fucking new life resolution. I will not say sorry. We are who so we are, dude. Sorry. Remember, we're yeah. letting them into our life. Yeah. And we love you for it, guys. Sorry. Not sorry. Yeah. We love you guys. Thanks for joining us. Well, we look forward to uh, hearing from you about this podcast and Yep. send in your suggestions or what have you and we look forward to talking next week yep and to the ladies make sure the guy finds the clit and to the guys find the fucking find that clit. clit find that clit find that find clit, that clit. <laughs> <laughs> okay peace out all right love you bye, love you, bye. <laughs>